so next part is to have the form for the post and the category and similarly the tag so let's go to original template and search for any form general element so general element this no I don't want these advanced element I don't want this editor yeah I'm interested in this editor so I think bootstrap editor visivic is nice so we will use this and for other purpose we will use these kind of anyone doesn't matter so let's go and just close this sidebar head yeah for now we will close that also inside here it's a home so it's like a dashboard we will change it later but for now close it also close this footer header also yeah now app.blade.php we have included everything inside our app.blade.php what I want to have everything inside other file because app.blade.php is my uh, master template okay so cut from here and go to home.blade.php and I will say section section name is main content and end section here is in between this I will paste it and obviously we have to create that section also so section and it's main content and we have to show it also yeah okay someone has asked me why I have not used yield here so we can use yield here but yield will only use when you have a short uh, section you want to give only uh, two or three word or maximum five to ten words but here actually inside the section we are actually giving the whole code the divs and everything the HTML maximum HTML part we are giving but inside yield we are not giving HTML part we are just giving the strings only so that's why I have not used yield here okay so let's move on let's go and refresh this again so yes everything is okay that means we don't have any problem here so let's go to editors and grab these editors so we have this editors.html page so open raw files inside here that will be inside forms forms editor.html so let's search this text so that we can see where it starts okay so it is start from this div and end up to here so copy these things so we have this and now I will go to my resources views admin and here I will create a new folder which is called post and inside post I will say post dot blade dot php okay so here again extends admin slash or dot admin dot lay layouts dot app and after that we need to give section here so end section and paste everything we have so let's create a route for that so let's create a route so admin slash post we have here and that will be post dot post that because it is inside the post folder okay so save this go to this slash post and again we are having some kind of problem so let's go let's open post dot plate and let's see main section that is good app dot plate dot php yeah that is because it's main content i have given main section so content okay refresh and yes we can see we have bootstrap here so whenever i type i can bold it i can 
small underline everything we I can do so we don't want the CK editor okay so let's see what's the closing tag this one okay so that's okay refresh and yes we don't have anything here but we can delete it but we don't want to delete that thing so let's find that these buttons and delete these buttons so I think these are the things which are not useful for us yes now we can close or minimize it so I think for minimize we can give it so we can give for minimizing purpose so let's go refresh yes we can minimize it that will be more beneficial for us so I can say write post here so that will be right post body here and simple is fast <laughs> I like this word simple and fast but above this I want to have many things so let's open that one note because I have everything on one so you can see we have this one note and so we have to give one text box for title one for subtitle also so let's go to here and check out some of the forms we have so we have these kind of forms so if I search for quick example inside general.html general.html find this so you can see it's having a box of primary so inside this primary box we can have everything so, so it's closing here so copy this from here and go to post dot blade paste it here let's go and refresh page yes we can see we have this thing but obviously we will change these things so we have to say here the post title and plug and subtitle like that so I will say title simply title so here it comes simply title so in here email address no not email address that should be the post title and here give the title only so title and the name also name is not here so title and instead of enter email title and not email it will be text so we don't want any password field okay and yes it's looking pretty awesome <laughs> okay delete this file also check out I don't want yeah I want check out because I want to have some checkbox which says publish or not so I will say publish and yes if I check this and submit then I will publish this also otherwise I will not going to publish it okay so post title we have similarly we need one more which is called post subtitle so sub title here subtitle name id sub for sub <laughs> okay so subtitle here subtitle okay so same thing one more time for slug so post slug and not subtitle slug okay and here comes slug okay same thing and yes we can even change the slug but what I want whenever I type here so if I give a space same thing will type here inside post slug but with a dash we will do this later so let's see what uh, other fields we need so status boolean yeah we have posted posted by is declared by the user which is typing body we have image 
image we can upload for the default image we can upload so I think we need now that uh, file option so copy that and paste it anywhere it doesn't matter save refresh yes so I think these are looking not looking nice we can cut it out so maybe we can move these things post title and subtitle on one side post slug and file input and publish on the right side so, so the form will have div of call lg6 here and which include title subtitle and slug these things are here and again one more div which is having call lg again 6 Prones, and it include these things so save this go refresh so I think it's nice because we have post title subtitle slug here and file input on the right side but we don't want this here so yes it's good but if we give a margin for this published that will be okay so instead of this i can say br one more time 2br will give it here okay move it here so everything is looking nice so let's go here and like and dislike is <laughs> detected by the user so we have everything for the post so when we have these things so we have to include this uh, body or the this text box inside this white body so what I will again do I will copy everything for the text box I have so that will be from here okay cut it out okay so paste it here and go refresh and yes we have these things so everything is here and when we want to write something we can write it here so that will be nice but text area has to be height of 500 pixel that will be looking very nice and if I close the sidebar it will be all your place to write anything you want one thing is remaining we have to give the name for this text box also which is body so body is here body is goes okay checkbox we have not given name so name for status status okay let's see um, yeah status okay so name name is status published okay file is having a name of having a name of let's say image simply and uh, very simply so in here also I will say image okay slug having name subtitle having name title having name everything having name and now we are all set to go but let's create one for tags and one for users so we have created this so close this one we have we don't have to do with app so now close this one also so create one route for tag so admin slash tag so tag is here and now I have to say tag dot tag because I am going to create a new folder inside resources admin so admin will have a folder of tag inside tag dot blade dot php and again extends admin dot admin dot layouts dot app section main yeah content not section okay then end section and section is good and let's see we have route for it yeah we have route for it 
same thing we need for category so that will be category and now same folder and category slash category dot blade dot php and copy everything from tag paste it here and yes let's go instead of post i will say tag and everything is looking nice very nice but we have to give only one field no i think two fields one for tag and one for its slug so let's go to home dot blade no let's go to post dot blade dot blade. let's copy everything for content and we will then delete unnecessary things for us copy everything go to tax paste it here now we don't want we want submit button but we don't want the text area we don't want this yes now we don't want text area now we don't want this checkbox we don't want file we want slug yeah we want slug and we want one for tag so tag so tag title i can say <laughs> and post slug instead of post tag slug so now so instead of this i can say simply tag and title will be tag title let's open the one node we have given tag a name okay so we have to say here instead of tag we have to say name not tag so name and slug it's simply slug yeah simply slug so we don't have to change anything so let's go refresh this page and yes we don't want it to be on the left let's give it margin by saying here call lg offset of 4 and say 4 here so these things are here but uh, i think if it should be of 6 so that will be 6 and if i change it to 3 that will be look nice okay so tag title and tag slug and that button should be with that white box so that will be here no <laughs> not so let's do one thing move this button here so everything is looking nice but it's it's slightly shifted so let's see what we can do for this instead of for this i will say form group how it's look like yes now it's okay and we have everything for this same thing exactly same thing we want for our category so open paste and now wherever we found tag we can replace category so that will be category okay so we have route yeah we have route so category oh <laughs> we have to make changes on the sidebar and yes we have this thing so if you have any doubt you can message me on facebook twitter and instagram and even <laughs> your favorite place youtube and don't forget to subscribe and like bitfunes on facebook twitter and instagram we will meet in the next episode to move forward with our blog series till then goodbye